take a look at this old thing. Car's looking good, bud. Thanks. Looks like they settled really good. H&R Super Sports, guys. Make sure you get them for your S197. It's honestly just the most perfect spring. Don't run isolators. Tape them up with some suspension grease. What do you got going on right now? I'm going to get an alignment. Make sure you get an alignment after you load your car. Make sure you buy camber bolts or caster camber plates, unlike Jordan. You don't need that garbage. <laughs> I'm actually curious to see if he's gonna need them. Some of the most lowered springs uh, you can do. Definitely gonna have like a bunch of negative camber, but. As long as the toe's good, we're straight. <laughs> Hopping good. in this on your first Saturday of ownership. Yeah, I haven't really driven it much. <laughs> Been trying not to drive it since it's not registered yet. Uh, I'm calling cops. This thing looks so good though on the lowering springs, even with the stock wheels. I'm not a huge fan of them. I know Jordan's not either, and it's kind of one of those wheels that, you know, you question Ford, why did they put them on? Especially like a specialty vehicle like the Boss 302, trying to wheel and deal on a set of wheel and tires. So if anybody has any for an S197, shoot me an email, Productions at gmail.com. I think black wheels will look really good on this, but I also do think if he went the route of like a polish on the white with the subtle hints of black with the decals and stuff. So drop a comment down below, set of black wheels, kind of like what's on there now, or are you gonna go with like a polished slash silver to kinda, you know, keep a really clean slash bright look. Look at these things though, man. They're a pretty price tag, but they have come down in price too. I've seen a couple C8s, you know, the base trim in the 70s, which is kinda crazy, cause it is a lot of car. You know, this is like supercar, supercar status. They are tunable now, from my understanding. They finally unlocked the ECU and stuff. So base C8 head cam intake build, you know, it's a lot cheaper. Those Z06s are going for stupid money. And this spec, whoever owns this, you did a really good job you know what I was thinking I think Jordan's gonna have to let me drive this one of these days I haven't driven it yet and side note you all know I have the leather Recaros and Blucifer the S197 Recaros and he has the cloth ones they're comfortable man um, I feel like they have a lot more give long road trips I know and Blucifer's Recaros it gets a little uncomfortable with these you just kind of bolster that still hugs you but it's a lot more forgiving so kind of like them I really do oh shit it's punched hey, your bro. punched your mirror. <laughs> Caught it on camera. That's a sick shirt. What you got what you got on there, man? A little shirt I got at what is it, DVP dot store or something? Dot shop. shop. Come on, bro. Lock it in. Tell him where to get it. Uh, that's zero zero two dog. Let me see that gap. Yeah, turn that thing around. Yeah. Oh, there's not many left, so I got less than seventy now. Less than seventy. Tell him. <laughs> The biggest pet peeve of mine with you is you leave your windows rolled down everywhere you go. If you're around the car, you if do. If I'm around, maybe. I can't stand it. Mine go up if I'm outside the car just scraping gum off my shoe. This beeping reminds me of my life alert when I'm eating Krispy Kreme donuts at 12 o'clock. It's my monitor going off. Eighth one or your tenth? No, this is like the fourth. It starts beeping on the fourth. Jake's is just like a flat line. Like, <laughs> he needs help. It's a camera on it right now. One eight? One four. For those wondering, if you just want to slap springs on a stock suspension car, S197 specifically, you're gonna be around negative four or negative eight on each side, roughly, camber. Um, so obviously get camber bolts. Don't rub me over, neither. Come on now. Get that 
That's what happens when you bring a Mustang and own a Mustang while you work at Chevy. Now that Jordan stuff's out the way, we're grabbing the real race car. It's up here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Psych! That's not it. Ah, there it is. Psych! That, oh, that's a clean ass. Is that mod? That is mod. Oh, and a Cobra. What's going on here, bro? Chevy has some floofoos in here. All these Ford Mustangs, bro. There it is. All right, meet me on the quarter mile from a dig. Come on now. Yeah. We're gonna bring Karma home, go grab Lucifer, and we're gonna go to Joel's, get Electra out, take the cars out, have some fun. That Mach 1's clean. Speaking about Mach 1, that looks like mine in its current condition. Look at these two, man. Back again with the S197s. That's kind of crazy. I really wasn't expecting him to get an S197. Why didn't you just boost Ruby? Where was your mind at getting rid of the car and then jumping back into an S197? I mean, this one's definitely different, but yeah. what's the what's the mindset on that? It was more so like I was getting bored and it was between boost it or sell it. The way with the market, it just made sense to sell it. In selling it, I was able to get this. So. Yeah, no, it definitely worked out in your favor. It definitely was a, a big come up, I'd say. I'm anxious to see when fall weather comes. E85 with the Sentry blowers, they're gonna love it. So after Mustang week, this thing will be back on E and it'll probably live on E85. Kind of annoying, honestly, flipping back and forth, back and forth. I don't know, 003 t-shirt? Maybe we have a Blucifer Times. Ghost, I like the sound of Ghost. I think <laughs> Ghost sounds sick, but what's the name, bro? I don't know. Come on! Maybe Blucifer and I don't know. Good one. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. That was pretty sick. <laughs> Just a little reminder for those of you that may have forgot, this is what I go around looking like to provide content for you all. So, simple little like goes a long way. I'm not quite in the clear to do any watt pulls yet. We started off at 34,450 miles. I'm at 34,850. So, we put good little 400 miles on the car with the clutch it's feeling good i just don't want to push my luck um i'm gonna do it the right way about six seven hundred breaking miles because i've only driven this thing city the only time it's going on a big road trip is to mustang week this year so i mean i have been putting in some miles on this thing my god that e85 smells so good i miss that smell in this i get that dookie 93 scent now pov drives that's what you guys wanted I love this car, man. I'm so anxious to do a 
pull in this car. Like I'm being very, very antsy and impatient about it. Nonetheless though, I'm very impatient about getting this thing back on E85 because I got to hang with that thing. And I don't know if that's gonna happen with this car, so when the mock gets back, we might just have to go straight to ESS E85 on that thing. Push about 850, 900, because that boss is gonna be nasty. License for that jet? Yeah. I went to flight school. Are you sure? Alright. These 747s aren't easy to land. You're flying, which is fine, but land is the hard part. We gotta get a blow-off valve on that thing. That's all you need, really. If you ever wanted to ship the head unit in, it's like five hundred dollars to get the heritage gears, but the blow-off valve will be plenty. We just gotta figure out like the vacuum situation with yours. I've never seen your setup like that. Because you have your fuel system that runs off of a vacuum, and then the blow-off valve runs off vacuum. So I don't know, I don't know how they have your set up. We'll have to look at it. What are your IAT sitting at? 117 right now. Damn, mine's at 102. Mine's, well, it'll slowly climb though. My car sounds so good with the long tube headers. I might have to do it. Like it's super tamed, but once he steps on it, it opens up. It just sounds so good. Jordan go Jordan I am NOT pushing my luck boys I don't even know if I have luck anymore at this point well here's a site we haven't seen in a while Jordan parked up at the Miranda's yeah. dude this is like crazy nostalgia right now like the S197s are making a comeback bro still buy the S550 Fire. merch though still buy the S550 merch <laughs> link in the description DBP squad shop look at this new lip uh, Should we just step you know about that? And bend it down, dude. He would scream. He would. Flip. He would scream. Imagine coming home and your lips back to snowplow. <laughs> Gotta love these wheels on the paint. Doesn't it look so good? Yeah. The color scheme is just—it's perfect for this car. It's clean. That's why I want you to do polish on yours. Match, polish match the good. blower and stuff. We're gonna wait for Joel to get back. They're doing some grocery shopping. So, Joel, I know you're on the camera. I, I know. I can see it. It's on. I know you're watching. Yeah. Where the hell are you at, man? Oh, we're she scaring her. Fuck you up. We're scaring her. Does she have a Does she have a blaster? Thank God I got the code to their house because I'm literally about to go steal all their snacks and food. 600 pound life. Here we go. We're training. We're training hard. You want You want something to drink? I'll give you the Brandon equivalency. I'll take the Derek equivalency. Hold up. She dragged you out the house. Ooh. Hey, gotta eat at some point, right? She Look got you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so Mustang week. You bringing the Mustang? Yes. And the SD. For Brandon to find his missing Yeezy, he's gonna have to watch this video. You don't know where it's at. I'll forget. About Pan doesn't know either. When was the last time you drove it? Um, last week. I'm trying to drive it a little more. She still has a garage spot though. She well, might not. So what, you <laughs> <laughs> she might not. But the oh, yeah, this Come put fucking eighty dollar hood skirts on that. Just not. Come on. That's too much. I'm a leather guy. Right. I just like my leather seats, but the cloth well, your are comfortable. Your S&M doesn't count. Huh? Your S&M don't count. S&M? Yeah. What the hell is that? You know what that is. S N S N M. What the f*** is that? What is S&M, fam? The leather. Oh, bro. You got some explaining to do, bro. You got a 27-year-old didn't even know what that was. Yeah, well, you got to remember, I got a little time on you. <laughs>
into a nice and easy one right here. I'm not gonna go crazy. It's burning out here. 205. 205. Huh? Why are these people driving 30? What's going on? Take the thumbnail here, this will work. Alright. Yeah, mine's running 192. Damn, you're running cool. Do you have a different thermostat in there? Yeah, it's got a 160 in it. Okay, that makes sense. So. Yeah, she's running cool, that's good. God, Electra's so nice. That thing looks ball around those wheels. I'm a big fan. Dude, I feel bad taking the cars out in this. I really do. <laughs> it's hot. His is running cool as hell. I need to upgrade my thermostat. He has a 160 in it, and his is at 192. Mm. That's cool. What are your IATs looking like? Oh, I don't know. I don't have it hooked up. Oh, you don't have it hooked up. Like I said, this freaking all the yeah. No, that's cool. still really cool. I mean, I got that big ass vent. That's all open, and my right. mine all run that cool. 
Yeah, yours is looking good. My, yeah, yours should go in and out. Yeah. Yeah. But this one kind of goes in and out that way. All I hear is y'all some car work. <laughs> Mine don't make that noise. Sight to see here. Good old Letra. Don't know what the hell we're naming this thing. Jordan can't make his mind up. Lucifer. I honestly forgot how fun S197s were, especially when other people have them, because they're, you know, they're slowly diminishing. I feel like a lot of people are jumping on that new stuff and not these, but these are slept on, truthfully. It's just, look at the body style. You cannot go wrong with a nice, clean S197. You just can't. It's the last year of the Mustang, man. I don't care what new cars I get. This is the Mustang to buy. If you're looking to get your first Mustang and you want something that's reliable, you want something that you know, is kind of timeless in the Mustang world now because they're just completely different, designed totally different. Solid rear axle, you know, you have this square kind of body that the three valves came up on and then obviously the Gen 1 Coyote. So I definitely recommend one of these guys, truthfully. Gen 1 Coyote can hold some power. These are all boosted. Jordan's forged internals, but Joel and I, we have the regular Gen 1. He's making over 700. Mine will be at 700 when I go back to E. So you really you just can't go wrong with them. You cannot. Jordan's at about 550-ish. His is his is a riot. You love that one, I seven, don't you? I do. It's just it's They're so good. They're just so good looking. They really they are. They really are. What about you, Joel? I know you got a 24 coming as well, but yeah, but it's not gonna be the same as this. So, yeah. Like Will said, this car ever go anywhere? No. Yeah. Like I said, I'm kind of the same way, honestly. There's no point in getting rid of it. Nah, there's no. really not. There's Someone's really gonna not. have to write a pretty big check. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. No kidding. You already know we have to show them off. Ah, look at those hood struts. Yeah, baby. Who else doesn't have hood struts? Who? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ah, Joel, let's see those hood struts. Oh, dang. Yeah, let's see it hold on its own. Yeah, let it go. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is that a prop? Oh, dude. The Lone Wolf Whipple car over here. Definitely the best setup, though. That thing looks crazy. You guys saw it earlier in the video. The Polish Paxton 2200. And then we got Lucifer. Paint matched. Paxton 2200. Out of these three, which one are you guys taking? Taking Lucifer Paxton, Boss Paxton, or Joel's Whippled car? Comment down below. I forgot how good it looks with the hood popped. Oh, uh, look at that. Hmm. Hi, Joel. All right, buddy. Appreciate you bringing the car out in this, uh, you know, this, what do you 90. call it, sauna? Yeah, really. It's insane. Yeah, fat boy sweat a lot. Man, what a day it was bringing out the S197s for the first time in so long. We definitely got to do this more often. And if you guys like these types of videos, please drop a like up on this video. Let's smash 2,000 likes. Get some more S197 content going. Maybe we'll even bring out some other cars one day. But yeah, this was so much fun. I'm so happy Lucifer's feeling solid.